What's up guys, welcome back to another Gwent video and today is a great day. Today is patch 9.6. 12 new cards have been introduced into Gwent with uh, and alongside a bunch of new uh, patch notes and updates and nerfs and buffs, whatever. So I didn't make a video myself going over the patch notes, so I'll actually be going through any relevant changes in my deck guides itself, obviously. So today I'm going to be playing a Radovid Witcher's deck. One of the new cards that Northern Realms got out of the two was R King Radovid the Fifth. Six base strength, ten provisions. And his effect is as follows. Deploy. If the base version of your leader ability has more than one charge, give it an additional charge. Order. Repeat the deploy ability. This card is insane. Real powerful. It's like a Nilfgaard card almost, like a Damien Delator light. Uh, like an alternative Damien Delator, right? So what leader abilities does Radwit work with? In NR himself, he works with Inspired Zeal. He gives you a fourth charge guarantee and potentially a fifth if he survives. He does not work with Royal Inspiration since this is not a charge-based leader. He does not work with mobilization because it does not have more than one charge he works with this he works with this he works with this and he works with this now he's extremely busted in my opinion busted i am using the word busted with uprising the reason for this is because uprising last charge when it's used will spawn a lyrian scytheman once you do that if you play radovid then, then you'll get one extra charge and if you use that charge you'll actually spawn another lyrian scytheman and that combo is what makes this deck so explosive in points. And that's why we're running Radovid's Witchers. So, uh, Crystal Skull is our choice. Uh, it synergizes really well with our Griffin Witchers. So it's a pretty box standard Witcher deck apart from the Radovid, by the way. I have included the Immortal Dam Sorceress combo. Since Dam Sorceresses are so good now, they work really well with your Adepts. And Immortals is just another great synergy card. Um, I think otherwise it's a very box standard deck. I expect this deck to be seen quite a bit by a lot of other people. I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of other Gwent players will have figured out that this is probably one of the best decks to play Uprising with. Right now anyway, obviously as time goes on it'll be streamlined. Um, so uh, other things of note. Uh, Vesemir got buffed. Vesemir did get buffed. He now boosts himself, by the way. He does count himself. So he's actually a 5-point deploy once you hit your adrenaline. It's a small buff, but it's nice. An extra point boost. And I think that's all the deck has to uh, offer. I don't think there's anything extra here. Uh, weaknesses for this deck. I would say because of the lack of control, engine heavy decks might have a very strong uh, matchup against you. And if you lose your... If you lose any Witcher c uh, combo, like if it's pulled with through Mill or Vilgaforge or Cantarella, it does lose a lot of power. You want to try to keep the Witcher trio to at, at least till round three, unless you're pushing for a two or uh, scenario. And this deck does like a short run, by the way, uh, because it has this explosive tempo with your leader. Like these three guys will all be boosted because of Erland. They'll be boosted because of Vesemir. So you can just pull them out, use your leader chart, uh, leader on all three of them, spawn the Lyrian Scytheman, and then you play Radovan next turn and immediately use the charge. It's great. It's a really powerful deck. And I think it's really good. As I said, biggest weakness is control. So just be careful about this. So this is the deck list, guys. I don't really think I need to go through it else, uh, through it much else, because again, it's a pretty bog standard Witcher deck, except with Radovid. You're gonna see three games in ranked, and they're pretty. They do show the power of this of uh, Radovid combo quite well. Oh yeah, another weakness by the way, I did forget to mention, consistency. You do have some thinning, but this I wouldn't count this as thinning because you typically don't want to play these cards in round one or round two. You want to save them as an extra finisher. So the thinning that this deck has is selective mutation or consistency and it has double amphibious assault that's it so if you miss king radovid you're again losing a lot of points be careful this deck also does have bricks by the way uh you don't want to have these in your hand you want to make sure you don't have this in hand so just be careful about this all right three games let's just jump right into them all right here we go up against blood Sense. so this is the i assume regis vampires that's actually quite scary because regis i think is one of the strongest additions to the game is an insanely powerful card. Uh, but we have Radovan in hand, which is pretty good. Um, I'd like to have access to Erlen. Okay, I have Mutation, never mind. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's a... That can be our selective Mutation target. So we'll draw our Vesemir. Unfortunately, not, a, not the best hand. We do have the Immortal... Sorcerer's combo, but we're missing out something like a griffin, so... Um, also, going first against this matchup would have been, would actually been pretty decent, because we could have applied Veil to our units. Which, again, would have been very useful. 
So I wonder if I can see the effect of Regis getting strengthened if he's in the deck. Or is it only if you're playing the... So we'll start with our Immortal. S immortals. They might be running um, the Bruiser for movement. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. And I also s suspect that their Devotion because of Unseen Elder. Uh... Alright, let's see. So uh, Vampire has obviously received a few buffs. Nekirat is now 4 strength. Gales is now 6 provisions. Um, I think one of the scariest buffs is the one to Fledder. That card looks insane, by the way. Uh, so what Fledder does now is that anytime bleeding is applied, it gets boosted by the amount of bleeding that has been applied with a cooldown of 1. So if you use a leader charge, that thing gets boosted to 7 immediately. It's almost like an ancient foglet, but for bleeding. And that seems very scary. The only difference is ancient foglet doesn't have that cooldown. Dora Gray. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's actually quite unfortunate. Ah, uh, that's a little annoying. Okay, so I guess I just play this. Draw Vesemir. Put back our good winning knight. But getting the lock on now is also fine, I guess, because Kelder doesn't get locked then. Unless they're running Parasite. Um, Garkin, okay. Let's drop the leader charge here as well. Maybe not. They might just hold it off. Oh, they do use it, okay. Where is Sabrina? So, I wish uh, Keldo was in deck. Because then Erlen would have boosted him. Three specials. So, Erlen is playing for 12, 16 points essentially. Oh okay, yeah, I didn't check by the way if Regis was if there's a effect here or something. If he's in hand, I doubt we'll see it. But if he's in the deck, maybe. I don't think so. I think it's only for the the owner who can see it. So they are not devotion, obviously with Dorgray. Obviously, that was something I should have known, seeing Dorgray. All right, let's just drop the Erland. A witcher with no honor is no brother of mine. Might have been a mistake. I'm not sure how I'm going to catch up. I need to make uh, 14 points. We can play, obviously. Oh, yeah, we have John Natalis into AA. I can use that. AA into Kid Wendy Knight will be more than enough. So we do have the reach. It's 2 plus 10, 15 plus 3. It's 18 points. It's an 18 point play. Wait, is it? 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 3 is 30. Yeah. 5 plus 5 is 10, 13. It's a 15 point reach, not 18. Uh, my math is off. The qu the, basically, I have the reach, so I'm, I'm absolutely fine here. Yeah. Would like to get something more out of them. You know, maybe uh, expensive gold or something. An expensive gold would be nice to get. They want to pass? Parasite. Oh! Parasite is good to get out. Alright, let's go for Natalis. Has yet to speak it last. So if they have Squirrel, unfortunately that means you're gonna vanish. But at least now I have Adrenaline. So this is a 5, 6, 7 point play. Okay. 7 point play. I might drop Kelder here actually. Gelder might be a good play here. Ara Armored Arrakis. I guess they're just leaning into the bleeding quite heavily. Interesting. Um, do I have the points here? So I drop you. Uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. And then on the pass I get 8. I'm 2 more 8. But I'm losing... Two bleeding, so six. They're getting one point, so five. I don't think I have it. But a long run against vampires seems seems very scary. So we're just gonna go for this. Go on. Season yourself with garlic. See what that gets you. Good, good, good. 
dodge. But I have the I can go for Quen maybe into I don't want to spend too many overspend though. Like I need to keep these cards. These cards are very important. They're obviously a lot of power. Vesemir now drops for four, five, six, seven. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Nine plus two is eleven. Minus one is ten. So Vesemir is giving me some decent reach. Okay, there's their Oniromancy. Spores. Alright, I think that's where I bow out. Do I? Is this... Uh, do I want to bow, bow out here? I think I want to save Lido with Radovid. It's a lot of points. Maybe try to survive the bleed. But again, I'm very scared of a long round, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine puts me at 33. I lose one, two points of bleeding, so 31. And they gain a point. They're 43. Yeah. Stepped about. I don't train on the cone. I hate it. So we have to also survive the bleed. Uh, I don't think they're going to go for a bleed just because Vampires does like a long round with a lot of the bleeding. You're a mulligan. I would have liked to have played Vesemir, but circumstances didn't allow me, which is unfortunate. Uh, my guess is they're still running... So they're running probably Detlef, Regis, uh, Crimson Curse. Probably another one of these. Another one of this. And we haven't seen a single Fledder yet. So we have to be careful. My AA target is... I think going to be the... Um, oh, it's a singleton deck. Okay. Beautiful is of fear. Urn of Shadows. Oh, they're playing um, they're, they're, they're playing the new Arrakis Queen, I think. Okay, interesting, interesting. So do I just go A into a Griffin Witcher? The wonders of projectiles and ranged weaponry. Oh, that actually is a bad play. If they have Manticore in hand, uh-oh. Uh-oh. But this, I think, suggests Arrakis Queen, maybe. But Arrakis Queen with what? What is your Deathwish target? Still have Radovid in hand. We want to stack Rose, so this will probably just play on the melee. No need to go for Inspired. Which is fine. It's still a 6-point play. More than enough. Come on. Come on, Frightened Dice. What is your next play? Are they running Shupal? So that is a question. Heat Wave, okay. Just immediate Heat Wave, I see. So, Quen can pull Leo, and he can pull these three also. He can also pull these two. Uh, I think I just do this. Can't see him getting better than this. If they want to pass, they have the pass. I don't think so, because they're playing Radea. There's a Fledder, so they're going to use a leader charge as well. This card is very scary. I, I'm actually a little concerned about this card. It's a lot like Messenger, Messenger of the Sea as well. Very difficult to... The, the only thing is they can't easily resurrect this thing, unlike Skellige, which can, you know, resurrect Messenger of the Sea quite easily. Um, I really don't want to play these cards. I want to try to hold those cards, you know, as much as possible. Might uh, if, if I can save those cards and instead go for full leader, I might as well do it. There's the Arrakis Queen. So they consume... The Fledder. Okay. Do they use a final leader charge here?
They don't. Okay. All right. Uh, it looks like I might have to use leader here. Not without good reason. All right. Can we snipe it? Do we get lucky? Pew. Oh. And there's another consumer. So they're obviously going to use the leader charge now. Now you use leader charge, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do... There's a time to reap, a time to show. This, there we go. And then if they pass here, I just play the final Lyrian Scythemen. Like, look at this, look at this ins insanity. Yeah, there's the boss. Okay, cool. So, I have an insane combo. I have Witchers all boosted into the final charge of Leader. That's, I think this is looking good for us. We just want to ensure we draw Leo and I'll take a Radovid Guard. Not you. Actually, no, that's fine. That's actually fine. Oh, okay. I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I have to do this. I have to do this. Um, I can't risk it. We... So this is Leo. And then this is going to be a second last split. No. We need to get value of this also. So we'll just start with this. Oh. So we'll play this next. Queen of the Night for the bleeding. I'll play you then. Let me go for Leo, and we end it off with leader charge. Rihanna, okay. Uh, I boost you because you're gonna come out of boost range. Uh, you're the closest to out of boost range, so I just want to be careful about this. Oriana's not too scary. Toad is though. That's a little annoying, but that's okay. Alright, I think we have this, unless starting are for some reason. Do you have 20... There we go, look at that. Easy, easy win. Let's go. That is the power of Radovid now. Alright, let's find another game. Alright, game number two is Precision Strike Scoyatel. Okay. Are we going to see the new Milva? I, I, I feel like Milva, if this was a Milva deck, it'd be much better with... Guerrilla tactics, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Um, you're my mulligan, and you're my mulligan. Alright. They might be running a new Saskia, though. This might be unitless Saskia. And I have no way to control Saskia. I have nothing that tar can, you know, hit an immune target. So, that's a little concerning, but... What do I start off with? I think I just start with you, but you get pinged down and killed, I guess, which would suck. Maybe I just go for the AA? Saber to Tiger, okay. Maybe I just go for the Amphibious Assault into... Into what? Griffin Witcher will be moved by making a bomb, so I think it's a bad idea. I think I just go for... Hmm. You know what? I think better do this. Has yet to speak its last. Don't have access to damn sorceress though, so that's why I don't really want to play Immortals here. But I think it's the best play, yeah. All as one! Essentially, what I'm saying is I'm forfeiting this combo in the future rounds, but my goal is to... Oh, there's a heatwave, okay. 
I mean, I'll take that. That is fine for fine by me. What's going on about this art, fella? Probably gets leadered into making a bomb here. And they do get Deathlon Milva here as well, so... That's the one thing about Witcher. Oh, Curse Corruption, okay. Alright, sure, if you say so. Um, Let's play you. It does give you a target, but... I just want to draw Erland. And put back target practice. Oh, a train on the cone. I hate it. So you die, unfortunately. But that's okay. That is a okay. I just want to get my uh, carry over down. A wee hint. Okay. Wow, leader, really? Really, leader? Is that really correct? We'll uphold the knightly values that define us. That is our request. I'm a little concerned now. If they're traps, it's a little concerning. But they're playing though, so. Markham volunteers. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. Um I guess I just pass now. Heat wave, curse of corruption, both gone, saber tooth is gone, and full leader gone. So if they are traps, we'd be, we'd be a bit careful here. Uh, Mulligan, you. You're gonna be pulled out. Uh, we're gonna pull these out with Quen, so. Yeah, this is the hand. If they dry pass, I think I just drop Griffin Witcher. Or do I drop Griff uh, Adept? Which one do I drop? I feel like you're not gonna survive, so I think I just throw you the wonders of projectiles and rain I think it just gets moved by a bomb. We haven't seen a single bomb from them. They might actually not be running a bomb. Who knows? I don't know what they're playing. I don't know if they're playing any of the new cards. My assumption, guys, is on patch day, people would try to play the new cards, right? That's why. Okay, I can't risk a mulligan. I can't draw into any of these. I have no Witcher. I do have a Witcher, actually. Wait. So I can actually draw into them. Never mind. I do have a Witcher, so... I think I take the mulligan, honestly. Okay, that's fine. That's actually absolutely fine. Alright. That's absolutely fine from me. I'll take that. Now, does Radovid ever survive? That's my question. Is there ever a chance he survives? Can't see him getting any. So yeah, it is traps Eldane, unfortunately. It's gonna become a little tricky for us to play. I'm just Alright, if that's Serpent Trap, I think I take it now. Is that my only special? Yeah, this is my only special, right? So I think I just take Serpent onto Kidwenny Knight. Okay, it's not serpent. For King and Horror! So Hatori, Serpent Trap. I don't have any special cards, so that's a good thing. Time is the easy bit. Get down to another I'm gonna do this so the 50-50 on Serpent Trap doesn't hit it by accident. If that is Serpent. It could always it could also be crushing, it could be it's not pitfall. All right, now it's getting a little concerning. What do I play here? Your adrenalines aren't activated yet, so neither is yours. I think I just dropped you. There's a time to re a time to One, two, three, four. All right. So next up is Kelder. I just realized by the they changed the icon for this. I just realized this for some reason. It looks better, I actually like it. So next is Kelder, we'll probably boost him up. Uh are they running Scorch? If they're running Scorch, they take it now. I mean I'm seeing this card, they might be running Scorch.
So is, what is that? Is that going to flip now? It's not crushing. So is that Mahakam Horn? No, I think that's Open Trap. One of them is Open Trap. The more you know, the less you blunder like a buffoon. So I'm going to use this in case they have Scorch. I don't know. I just feel like because I saw Curse of Corruption, they might have Scorch. Oh, nice. It hit the front row. I'll take that. I'll actually take that. That's actually very good. Uh, I don't want to play into another crushing. So I think it's just Vesemir time. It does lose value, obviously. It's not the best Vesemir. Uh, you know what? I think I take... Eh, it's fine. If that's a crushing, I wanted to hit the back row. No, I wanted the front row. The back row. There's a shield. But I lose a student. Eh, front row. Too old for this shit. You can probably take leader here as well. I ah, will save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. So the sequencing is Quen, Radovid, Leo. So that's your first one here, Mansi to the second pyrotechnician, okay. Uh, have you seen a fuse? Is that a crushing trap? Is it gonna flip? Yep, there it is. Okay, back row this time, unfortunately. But that's all the crushing, so... Front row has more boost, so we'll do it here. Not your lucky day. I'm too old for this shit. And, um... Can I come down now? I'll do that. Another guardian justice. Get it, you faced baby. No, don't hit the boosted guy. Don't do it. Yes, son of a gun. Broken. I'll boost you. I just have enough space, by the way. I, if this survives, I have exactly enough space. It's the synthesis. I think we win. Last card is Eldane. And that's open trap. That's not getting value. Yep, there you go. Always going on about this mark, fella. What the? Who the hell are you calling hot headed? Alright, uh, let me see you get the points, buddy. I don't think you have it. I don't think you have it. Yep, there we go. The power of Witchers, guys. This leader, Radov is insane with Uprising. I think it's actually a little too overpowered in my opinion. Alright, let's find one more game. Okay, we are going up against Battle Trance. Alright. What are the new skeleton cards? King Bran and Ceres, right? I don't think we're going to see any of them. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, all right. We have the Immortal Damn Sorceress combo, which is always nice. We're going second, which is also nice. Uh, so the one weakness of this deck, I would say, is consistency. It's not the most consistent. We do have Radovan in hand, though. I have Erland as well. So I'm missing Vesemir. And I can't get Vesemir because I don't have Selective Mutation. Alright, that's fine. Mushy Truffle into Little Half Fruit. I fish breath. How dare you, foul swine! You fear us. It's good you do. Okay, this looks like the standard deck from last patch. I see Sunset Wonders in there, so. Alright. Okay, um... We'll uphold the okay, uh, that sure, you know, um, I, I guess that's a play. It's a decent play, but round one, that's a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot. Holy shit, I, I'm actually quite surprised they did that. Discarding, so yeah, Coral did get nerfed though, so this deck isn't exactly the same. Coral and Focusia both got nerfed. Coral is now 9 provisions, Focusia is 14 provisions, so... It's not like the deck can... Uh, okay. You got rid of the Dwim? What? Alright. 
I guess that's who was guard. So this deck lost two provisions. I wonder where, uh, what they've done to replace it. Maybe they still get focus here, but they downgraded something else. Who knows? Who knows? Played on the back row just to avoid a little half row value. Actually, oh, they pass. Okay. That is absolutely fine by me. Uh, I think I just dropped you, right? What's better, you or you? I think. If we're going a long round, yeah. Alright, so it's a long run against getting it. So I need to draw my cards. I need to draw my powerful cards. I need Quen, I need Vesemir, I need Mutation. That's a card. That's very good. You're a mulligan. Natalis gives me no targets, so. Oh. So let's just play our first AA, and I'm gonna play our Equity Knight. And the thing is, the bleed might be correct here since they do have the Sunset Wanderers. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what they're doing, but. Nice get princesses, and we get what? Bloody streakers! I want Sunset to come out, that's what, why I'm doing this. Crow Mother, okay. That plays for 10, uh, ten points. Let's look at that. Dark clouds gather over to Maria. Still missing my Vesemir, unfortunately. Burner, alright. So Morkwar, it's 9 points. It does give you the lead, actually. If they have both skirmish and Morkwar in hand. Oh, good, good, good. good. It just hurts swallow. Alright. Alright. Do I ever consider passing here? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I tr I want to get getting it out, right? That's my goal. Go on. Season yourself with garlic. See what that. Uh, they use Giga Scorp already. No, the pendulum. I'm much better at that. So Wanderers comes out now. There's a heat wave. Eleven. Okay. So now I'm accepting I'm gonna go card now. I still wanna get getting it out though. The wonders of projectiles and range weapon. Opponent is deciding. Is this your Fukushima? It is Fukushima, yeah, okay. Folk can be just as treacherous as the sea. You can kiss my tail goodbye. Alright, okay. Um, either way, I have to, I, This is my pass, right? Yeah, this is my pass. I'll take the pass here. Golden Frost. Right. Okay. Vesemir. We're going up against getting it, but I have rat of it, so. I do also have a lot of points. AA, yes. Vesemir, perfect. I think this is the hand here. We just mulligan you. Yep, that's the hand. A is gonna pull out our Royal Guard. So we'll play on the range row. Nothing is melee locked, I believe, yeah. I mean, okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, we'll just start with you. Obviously they have Getty. I'm pretty sure they have Getty. Getty, Getty, Getty. There's the Getty. In heart and mind. Now that's the kind of negotiating I understand. Alright, play you out. Uh, I'm not getting any more Witchers, so... 
play Vesemir next. I mean, they have a lot of points. I, I don't know if I'm gonna... So it's gonna be Leo now. Oh, how wonderful! You speak our tongue. Arrowing arrows Leo and then Radovan next. Finish off with the Scythemans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And uh, yeah. Alright. So I think I just play Radovan on the melee row here. Because I want to get Scythemen value. Bride of the Sea into another Giga Score? Okay. I mean, they're giving me space. So. Alright, so. One, two, three. There we go. And perfect. There's the win. There's the goddamn win. And there we go, guys. I think that's going to bring me to the end of this video. See the power of Uprising and Radovid. It is insanely good. Alright, guys. If you guys did enjoy this, do show your support below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.